welcome again to another episode of fish keep in jamaica welcome to my channel okay imagine you have a 350 gallon aquarium or uh, a uh, tote like me a container with some jack dempsey's in it right i imagine uh within that batch you have more males than females also imagine if uh one uh or uh, should i say a pair of 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 jack dempsey's secrets actually spawn within a space like this with probably about uh another 30 31 um jack dempsey uh you might end up with not all of the the spawn being um you know being able you're able to get them to actually grow them to sell them all right so what have i done so as to ensure that i got my jack dempsey first thing i did was to actually separate the male and the female right? appear right one male one female and for those persons who missed that video uh i did a video i matter of fact i did about three videos on that particular um topic right and i actually extracted them from the pond and i placed them into a different container by themselves depending on the size of the jack dempsey that you have you might end up with a spawn of roughly between 60 to 100 fries okay so after placing the fries after placing uh the pair uh, that's one male one female jack dempsey in this pond for about probably about two weeks the yeah, pond look green and all right, right it has its filtration system it has a little breeding um private space and this morning i woke up to see newly hatched um fries you will see them close up in a bit right now these newly hatched fries I don't know the total as yet but if i want my um my, my pair of jack dempsey to actually um spawn let's say the next three to four weeks time what i will have to do is to extract all the fries from this system and place them elsewhere and uh within no time i will have additional fries now i have discovered that um not all fish and can actually survive in my system outdoor so i have some indoor now some fish that are outdoor does uh, doesn't do that well um indoor right i have actually gotten about a hundred uh jack dempsey fries already from a pet shop and i um i actually lost probably, probably about half of that um they were inside but at that point in time i was going in and out uh in the sense that I, um, my house would be locked up for half of the day and in the evening uh you know that's all night. my jack dempsey the, the large one together and they would spawn and out of a spawn of a hundred i would get probably about 30 and um that's it but this time i decided to actually extract a male and a female and i have gotten more than the 30 that i normally get so i'm gonna be extracting them and i'm gonna be placing them in a small tub and uh we'll see what happened after that i might just end up uh start to just keep jack dempsey oscar convicts and emboomer and forget about the the live bearers and of course some other fish that i don't really breed i just keep for myself all right let's see how that one works i might have left about roughly 20 fries um in the pond with the adults with the parent because they are a little bit they are proving a little bit difficult to catch at this side they are newly hatched it seems as if they hatched either this morning or a few hours ago right so i let them stay there with the parent that's about 20 in addition to probably about another this is roughly about uh about 80 uh fries so they will stay in this tub uh for a while roughly for about probably about four five months and um point to note although tubs are in my yard right but they are placed different places spaces um uh, point to note that uh tubs might have varying temperature and so i still have to acclimatize uh my fries to the different tubs regardless of where in my yard they are so they were sitting here for about probably about 20 minutes to get uh climatized to the water right and um i will 
keep you up to date on these fries now um being that i have so many fries roughly about a hundred um i'll be looking forward to selling probably the pet shop um some of the adults that i have but i am waiting until these that i just got um reach about probably about an inch an inch and a half and i have about another 25 uh juveniles about an inch an inch and a half um that will actually be going into the large tote while these flies go into a small tub right so it's like a a, a, a process of you know, getting rid of the large ones getting new ones over and over and over again yes uh that them say at the local pet shop uh doesn't fetch much um from the from the pet shop i mean in, in a sense that if i sell i uh, might that them say to the pet shop i will not get much for it but if i sell several pet shops um that them say I'll probably get a little bit more so therefore I can divide what I have and sell like a dozen to different pet shops and I end up getting uh, more than if I sell one pet shop all right so uh, these are my fries and um, I'm loving them and uh, my next thing on the agenda is to actually crossbreed uh, some Jack Dempsey well a Jack Dempsey with a fire mount uh, that I will keep you up to date with and we shall see what we shall see regarding that share thank you very much for stopping by thank you very much for you know uh showing your support remember to like share subscribe and share this link uh throughout the different platform that you may be on uh instagram facebook uh twitter you know it's it's a really interesting hobby and you know it, it's it's just so amazing seeing babies grow to adult size peace out catch you next time